For the last several weeks, finding a rapid test inside a pharmacy hasn't been an easy task. Every day we get multiple calls and multiple people walking in. For Jenna Eccles, with Wheat Ridge Professional Pharmacy, her answer to people shopping for tests is simple and shown by an empty shelf. I think it was two days before Christmas we ran out and we haven't had any since. In fact, they had placed an order for about 300 tests that were supposed to be delivered last week until an email came in from their supplier. Our pre-allocated, pre-booked tests cannot be released to us or shipped to us because the federal government is allocating um, all tests. Meaning she and her customers will have to look elsewhere. It kind of enrages me a little bit because I just feel like our community needs it. And any time the federal government wants to allocate it, I question where they're sending it. Who's getting what they're allocating? At Capitol Heights Pharmacy in Denver, it's quite the opposite. Last week, I got a couple thousand in, and we are down to about a little over a few hundred, so they're they're going. We could do that. As of last weekend, people who buy a test can also seek reimbursement from their insurance provider for at least $12 per test. I know it's not ideal to pay $32 for a pack of two tests, but at least you have them. When you're sick, you can use them and then you can talk to your insurance company about getting that money back. For many who don't want to wait up to 12 days for their test to arrive from the federal government, it's the next best option. I had received a text from here that they had them available, and as soon as we got back, you know, we, we've been around people, and we needed to have the tests on hand, and so if I begin to feel symptoms, I want to be able to find out instantly. It's also important to remember stockpiling tests at home might not be beneficial. Most of these tests anyways, the expiration on them is not super long. So if you come in here and the tests we have available right now expire at the end of March. Even if you are lucky enough to get your hands on a rapid test, if your results are positive, you could end up in one of these lines waiting to get a PCR test, which could then take up to days to receive your results. Ivan Rodriguez, Denver 7.